Hi, I'm Cassie Spurlock with My Counselor Online, and today I have September Trent, one of our awesome therapists on the My Counselor team with me to chat about an article she recently wrote about how to support your spouse during an eating disorder, during their treatment for an eating disorder. So thanks for being with me, September. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. So I noticed, first of all, right away when I was reading your article, that this is primarily addressed to women and could you, or to men, and could you tell me why you primarily address an article on this topic to men? Sure. Yeah, most of the time, most of the people that I get in for eating disorders are women. And so I wanted to gear the article toward their husbands. I'm not saying that men don't suffer from eating disorders. They definitely do, and that's on the rise. But most often it is women, so I wanted to target that population. Maybe in the future, I'll probably write one more to uh, wives of, um, of men suffering from eating disorders, but that's really the reason why I targeted that population. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so, with that in mind, men are very practical. They want to get to the nuts and bolts. What should I do? What should I not do? Sure. So let's talk about uh, some of the things that men can do that actually they're trying to be helpful, but it ends up hindering their wives' recovery journey. So what should they avoid doing in the name of helpfulness? <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, a few things. Number one, like you said, men are very concrete. They just want to know what to do. And I think the first thing they can do wrong is just want to fix it. What do I have to do? My job is to fix it. And really, they just need to be patient. They need to trust in the process of therapy. If, if their wife has a therapist who has experience in eating disorders, that person is going to know what to do and really have to be patient. Trust that person. Also, try not to focus on food. It's not about just eating. Um, it's just a, eating is just a symptom. The eating disorder is a symptom of other things going on. So just encouraging them to eat, encouraging them to um, follow a specific eating plan is not going to be helpful because they're already obsessing about eating. I, I think with that, what's really helpful is husbands trying to encourage and um, compliment things other than body image, the way their wife looks. Uh, well, that can be good at times. I think with someone with an eating disorder, it's better to encourage uh, the work that they, the wife has done in treatment, um, the things that they notice just day to day the wife does well, and also um, just the love that they have for their, for their wife. Okay. I think to if uh you know the husband's very confused about how could my wife she's so beautiful how could she have an eating disorder and just complimenting looks well at times that can be helpful with someone with an eating disorder that's really not going to be what they need at gotcha. yeah that's that's something that i think husbands are trained to do you know yeah if she's struggling with that then you want to make sure she knows yeah. but it's surprising to hear that actually that can, that can cause her to focus on that even more and stress yes. her out even more, hinder her journey. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So no, uh, no discussion on husbands and eating disorders could be complete without talking about how this affects the sexual dynamic between a husband and a wife yes. and what husbands should, what they need to know about that. What should they expect? What is normal for them to expect? Yeah, I think they can expect because their wife is so focused on her body, she's actually scared to show that off. She's scared to be vulnerable um, in that aspect with her husband, even though she loves her husband, trusts her husband that's going to be very difficult for her. So the husband needs to also be patient with that, understand that even though she is focused on her body, that is something that she doesn't want to share with her husband at that point in time. Not that necessarily she doesn't desire sex. She could, she could not, but just the fact that the husband needs to be understanding about that, not 
pushing that piece of it during treatment because that's also going to add stress. I definitely think it's a topic that needs to be discussed in therapy with um, the woman suffering from the eating disorder and the husband at the appropriate time during treatment. Um, and I think the therapist, if well-trained, can help them with different exercises to feel intimate on, a phys on the physical side um, with other aspects of it, whether that's kissing, touch, rather than the intimacy part until the wife is, is ready for that. Yeah. And uh, that patience from the husband not pushing the wife to do that is going to be very important. Yeah. So husbands should be encouraged that it, it takes time, but the goal is, you know, eventually to restore that full sexual yeah. intimate experience with the wife. Definitely. And that, yeah, that definitely being a goal and knowing that that's going to be worked on um, throughout the therapy relationship because that marital relationship is a huge uh, aspect of her life, the wife's life, and, and can be a huge support for her treatment. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so the last thing that I want to talk about in this article was, um, you know, you guys are trained to help people to know what healthy looks like and to help people make that journey restored to um, a healthy life in, in all aspects, a whole rounded person. And as I was uh, reading your article and thinking about a man and just thinking about uh, the heart of a man and just wanting to take on so much and wanting to, you know, he's listening to this video and he's watching this because he wants to support his wife. What about support for him? Is this, if he's a normal, healthy man, should he think he needs to support her all himself? I mean, obviously she's in therapy, but will he need any extra support? Is that normal? Is that um, a sign that there's something wrong with him? If he has people to, you know, who, if it's normal, should he reach out to? Yeah, he definitely needs added support because seeing his wife go through this struggle, which can unfortunately take years to, to treat, he needs some type of support himself. And that is not abnormal. That's not strange for him to get that support. He needs that. Okay. And I think it's important to him, for him to have a conversation with his wife about, hey, you know, I, I need support in uh, just my own processing of this and how I can best support you. And these are the, the guys, maybe the friends in my life that I trust. Would it be okay with you if I share this with them? And specifically when we talk, it's just going to be about my side of it, not your side of it. And also I think it would be helpful for him to find a, a support group for spouses of those suffering from eating disorders, because then he can share with other spouses the struggles that he's helping his wife with. And then also he may need individual therapy on his own just to know, okay, what do I say? What do I don't say? How do I support her? How do I work through the emotion that I have? How do I work through the just wanting to fix it for her? Yeah. Well, this has been really insightful. So thank you so much for your time today and for this article. And if this has been helpful to you, you can find more articles by September Trent at My Counselor Online.